Um, admittedly, I, I come to the medical board with a bit of a different uh, uh, background, um, and I come with uh, you know our, 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 the overriding commitment uh, of justice delayed is justice denied. And I become concerned when we are going through our discipline cases and we are disciplining physicians for what we determine to be misconduct that occurred in 2012 or 2014. And we don't know what happened between 2012 and today or 2014 and today. Have they, you know, have things gotten worse? Have things gotten better? And I guess if my real question here is, is if there was two, two questions. If there was one thing that we could do, what would it be? And it, I'm playing off Dr. Lewis's question a little bit because, um, you know, I'm, I'm not clear on all the relationships between the entities and the budget. But I'm also seeing that people can be harmed in these, in, you know, 550 days is a very old case. If it were a criminal case, it would be dismissed um, for, for violating speedy trial rights. They need to become more publicly active um, in really, um, it, you know, bringing the citizenry forward because they're the ones that are impacted by this and by the delay. I've been involved with vertical enforcement models in different situations throughout my career. And um, I found that they actually exist more on paper than they do in reality. And I'm wondering if you're able, I mean, not today, but to provide um, us with, with some numbers regarding cases that actually begin with the same investigator and the same DAG and end with the same investigator and the same DAG. Because unless that is occurring, it's not vertical enforcement. And you know, trading from one person to another ends up with you're having to um, have the new DAG get up to speed. Uh, same thing for investigators. The new investigator has to get up to speed. Mm -hmm. And um, I do think there's obviously a need in case preparation or whatever to work together, but I, given the, 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 the slowness that has come with vertical enforcement, I'm not sure, I know it's the law, but I'm not sure it's a, a law that, that shouldn't be ch changed. And um, I, I, um, you know, I, I think some of, I, for example, your pilot project on the subpoena process, um, you know, I gotta be honest with you, we, we did a case yesterday um, that ended up being um, uh, dismissed in which the DAG had filed a discovery motion for necessary evidence four months before the hearing date and never obtained the evidence, didn't have the evidence to move forward and took no action to enforce the discovery order in a four month period. And that's no enforcement. That's not a matter of vertical or non-vertical. And legally, there was nothing, there's nothing else we could, there was no evidence. I mean, it was just, it, it wasn't even debatable that it was a case that could proceed. And, um, you know, although these things all sound good, you know, vertical enforcement has been the buzzword in the justice community for, 15 or 20 years, um, I have yet to see it work and I'm yet to, to, to be convinced that it's working here. And it may well be hindering us and it may be that we need to start looking at other ways to deal with, with these cases um, in, in a more efficient way because it seems to be slowing us down.
And I'll um, have to get that case name from you, Kim, um, the one that Ms. Feinstein just, or Judge Feinstein just mentioned. I don't know if that's a vertical enforcement case, first of all. If we're having difficulty with evidence at trial. Um, no, 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 please, let, let, let me make clear. Mm -hmm. I understand what difficulty with evidence at trial is. I don't understand right. what the I'll point is it. of filing a motion and then letting it sit for four months and not taking any steps to seek enforcement. So you don't have any evidence. So let, let me just make that clear. I mean, I'm not overly impressed with, mm -hmm. um, I'm not overly impressed yet, okay? Hopefully that'll come. 